So you just bought the NPC one, you powered it on, you went into a project, and you have no idea where to begin. It's okay. Calm down. Take a breath. All right. Let's do this. Let's get into it. So before we get into the video, I want to say if you have any questions about the NPC one, simply go to the comment section, type it in, push enter. All right. There are a lot of people here on this channel that watch these videos. They're going to be able to help you out. And in addition to that, I'll try to help you out in any way I can. And even further than that, if a lot of people give it a thumbs up, if it's a popular topic, I'll do a video about it. So let's go ahead get into this video. All right. So first off, you need to plug your stuff into some speakers. It's very simple. Plug it into some speakers. And if you, you know, I'll leave a, like something up here is going to be like a setup for NPC live, uh, until I do like one for the NPC one, check out that video about how to set up to some speakers until then, if you have some headphones, just plug headphones into the front of it. There's a little spot, plug it into your headphones. You're going to be good. All right. Now, um, I'm going to put my headphones on. So when you first turn on your NPC one, let's take a look. It's going to look like this. Go to your empty project before you even do anything. Just go to your preferences here. So go shift, press your menu button. It's going to take you to the preferences. And if you go to your project defaults, you're going to get something here. It says new project dialogue. Change this to, uh, you know, your demo template recent. If you do that, watch what happens when you go to a new project. Okay. So. Whenever you go to the new project, it's going to look like this. This is the startup screen now when you start up your MPC one at the top, you have your project templates. So these are going to actually be templates. And then these templates are going to be the demo templates. Now it's not going to have anything programmed in the sequence. So if you load one of these templates up, it's going to be that template. So it's going to have those programs, but it's not going to have sounds program like sequences programmed this. Right here, these are your actual demos that have sequences programmed. So if you push play, when you have one of these loaded up, it's going to play sounds and do everything. These are blank. So down here, you have empty projects. So I'm going to press empty project. Now I will note up here, these are your recent ones. All right. So anything that you had been working on will show up up here. This way you're, you could just select one of these. I'm just going to go to empty project. So you can go to empty project. So the first thing you probably want to do it's just a thought is actually go to here, go to save as, and then it's going to bring you to your internal. So you can save it on your inter internal. I very, very highly recommend. I want to eject this for a second that you get one of these, get one of these SD cards. This is just a 64 gigabyte sand disc SD card. I'll leave a link in the description Just get one of these. They're very cheap. Put them in there. All right. And then immediately it will show up and then you can, select it. Now I put these in here, these folders in there, cause you can put a new folder anywhere. So press new folder, name it projects. So you would name it here projects, press do it. I'm not going to do it cause I already have one right here is projects. So if I go into that, so you could double tap into that, you can save your projects here. So here's my March projects. So here are a couple of ones that I saved on this SD card. Now I did have another slot. So I did have this connected to it, but I took it out so I could show you, you know, kind of this process. So you would save it. So I like to save it as the date. You can name it whatever you want to name it. So I, you know, let's put first project or whatever. I mean, it doesn't matter what you name it. So first project, press do it. It's going to bring you to the screen. Now you can actually save it into that folder. So the folder it's at is right there. So you can save it into there. Boom. So there you go there. Now you have that project saved and you can see it's right there. If you press browser, you go to places, you can select that SD card, go to your projects, March. Okay. It's going to be right there. Now, if you want to do a shortcut, if you want to make this like shortcut, if you press shift and touch the folder, now you can go anywhere, but if you go there, okay, boom, you know that that's going to be all your projects. Okay. So that's going to be a shortcut. Again, if you hold shift, touch one of those folders, it's going to save that as a shortcut in whatever folder you're at. So now we have that project saved, go to your content. Okay. So you probably don't have samples in here. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, 
But if you go to drums, you're going to be able to pick a drum kit. You know what? I'm just going to pick this acoustic kit. All right, just load up something simple. You ain't got to get crazy with it. So we loaded up that acoustic kit. So if we go to main, right here, boom. That's that acoustic kick. So we can play the pads. What's going on now? We actually got some sounds in there that we can program in there. It's, it's very simple. You got a drum program in there. All right, so let's go through this. We, we save the project. That project's there. We now have a sequence. Because once you actually put a kit in there, you, it kind of creates a sequence for you. All right, so we got a sequence. This is our BPM, so that's as fast as that sequence is going to be. This is how long the sequence is going to be. That's your number of bars. This is the start and end point. So if you have this starting at one and you got ending on two, it's only two bars, so it's going to play the whole sequence. Here's your repeat. So if you turn that off, it's only going to play the sequence one. It's an end. If you keep it on, it's going to repeat the sequence. It's very simple stuff. All right, so transpose. That's going to transpose your MIDI notes up and down. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about none of this other stuff, okay? Just worry about you have one sequence, okay? Now, down here, you have one track, all right? In that track, you have a drum program right there. This is the drum program. That's the one we were playing. This is one we loaded up. Very, very simple stuff, guys. All right, so once you have your drums in there, you can actually start programming beats, like, pretty much instantly. There's a few ways you can do it. The most fun... And simple way to do it is to use a pad. So you push record, play start, and then you start playing the pads. And it's going to record whatever you're doing in there. Other ways to do it is to go to your grid edit. You can use this tool here and start programming things. Okay. Another way to do that is to use a sequencer. And again, you could start programming things. Okay. Let's just use the pads. It's the most simple, straightforward way to do it. And let's take it step by step. So first, let's slow down this BPM. Just, you know, let's just put it something that we're going to be able to play to. All right, we just got this. We, we need to make it simple for ourselves, okay? Now, I do want to show you this. Here you have a hi-hat. So this is kind of going to keep the tempo for you. So if you program this in, you're gravy. You're golden, right? So check this out. Let's make this super simple. If you if you go over here, push shift, tap note, repeat, you get this going on here. Now hold this pad down. Super simple, right? Let's slow it down a bit. Boom, 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 boom. All right, you can see this is on eighth notes. Don't worry about it. It's on eighths, one eighths. That's as fast as it is. Just listen to it. All right, now press overdub and then play start. And you see this is going through. Once this white line hits the end here, let off the pad. Boom. Now press overdub. Now we got that hi-hat in there. All right, we can start putting other drums into that. So you got a kick drum, which is right here. Now let's take note repeat off before we do anything. So you got your kick drum, you got your snare. All right, let's keep it simple. Boom, tap. Boom, boom, tap. If you can sing it, you can play. It's that simple, okay? So pay attention to where your playhead is, or just push stop. Just push stop. Then hit overdub, and then play start, and you'll get a count in. Once that count in hits four, so look at your metronome, you're in quarter notes, so it's going to count one, two, three, four, and it's going to start recording. Once it starts recording, hit that bass drum. Let me show you what I mean. So we're going to go boom, tap, boom, boom, tap. So record over overdub right here is on. So not record, but overdub is on. And then if we hit play start, it's going to start at the beginning and give us a count in. Boom. All right. Boom, boom. Boom. And then ta. Boom, boom, ta. That simple. Now listen to me, I'm not trying to be condescending or anything. I'm really like, I'm just trying to show you how easy it is to get going. Because I know a lot of people in the forums, they're like jerks. 
because I've experienced it. You like you ask a question and people are jerks. So like, don't listen to them. Just go in there and just start making music. All right. Just don't listen to these people. There's a lot of people are just going to put you off. They're going to not even give you the time of day. They, you know, they want to feel superior. It doesn't matter. There's no need for us to be superior or inferior or anything. We're all peers. We're all equals. Let's teach each other. Let's learn how to do this. All right. So if you look in here, we got a sequence going. So let's go into this grid here and boom. Very simple. We got a sequence going. Now, if you tap this bass drum, you notice that this is highlighted down here, pad A01. So it says A01. It highlights that whole area. So that's where all the kick drums are within the sequence. Okay, and then right here is the snare. That's where all the snare drums are in the sequence. Right there, pad A03, that's the hi-hat. So that's everywhere where the hi-hat is in the sequence. So it's very simple. Very, 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 very ridiculously simple, okay? So you got one bar, two bars. So you got two bars. This is in 4-4 four, four time, so you have one, two, three, four beats per bar. So you go one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, two bar loop. Very simple. This kick drum is on the first bar, okay, in the first beat. So you can see it right there. It's also right here. So these two kick drums. All right, so this is the second beat, first bar. Okay, and then this is the second beat, second bar. See, it's on 2.2, second bar, second beat. So it's right there. Now your snare drum right here is on 1.3. So it's the first bar, third beat. Okay, and then it's on 2.3. So it's your second bar, third beat. It's only a two bar sequence. Okay, and then your hi hats were, uh, what do we do? Eighth notes. So there's eight of these notes per bar. So that's what the eighth stands for. Eighth notes. So eight per bar. All right, and then you got eight per bar over here. Same difference. So now when you play it, All right, very simple, very basic, one-on-one -on -one stuff. So, so we really got to learn what we're doing to make really good music, okay? So let's start with the fundamentals. That's what we're doing right here. So now, um, if you go to your main, you can speed this BPM up, okay? So you could turn it up. So let's say we want it 105. All right, a little bit faster, okay? Hey, if you're finding value in this video, give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it if you think it could help somebody. Say we want to put some chords in there. We want to have like, um, you know, some chords, just something simple going in the background. Very easy to do. All right, so if you go to your browser, uh, go to your expansions. If you haven't already, you know, go ahead and download this, load it up. I'm gonna assume that you already downloaded and loaded it up. If you need to know how to do that, let me know in the comments. Maybe I can do a video about it. But it's very simple. You got your expansion there. Okay. Pick something. You don't... Let's not pick a bass. Let's pick something that we could do chords with. Like right there. All right. We could do chords with that. That. There's some guitars. Listen, I'm trying to break it down. All right, let's pick this warm pad right here. So you could preview it all like that, all right? When you select it, there's a few ways. You could double tap it, press load, or, or push that. It's gonna load it up. Now what you can do is you go to your main, change the track, okay? We got 128 MIDI tracks, let's pick the second one. So once you pick your second track, press right here where there's a keyboard. That means key, uh, excuse me, key groups. So this keyboard stands for key groups. And then you can see that pad loads up. Once that pad loads up, push shift, notes. It's gonna take you over here, press chords. Very simple. Now, select your octave. All right, maybe you want it lower. Put it lower, higher, higher, whatever. Let's just leave it on two. And press overdub, play start. Watch this. All right, now press overdub again. 
We got some chords in there. All right, very, 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 very simple to do. Now go back to main. Maybe let's slow it down a little bit even. Let's go to 95 BPM. So your BPM is how fast it's going to be. All right, so that's what it is now. Let's go ahead and go back to our browser. Let's pick like a, a lead or a melody sound, okay? Something to put over top of the chords. Very simple to do. All right, these kind of sound like leads, right? All right, let's pick this smooth one. I'm just riffing here. None of this is pre-planned. I'm just trying to show you how simple this could be. All right, so we loaded that up. Let's go back to main, pick track three, load that one up. So this smooth, boom, it's loaded up. So we can use the pads. You can play it. Let's actually go to back to notes, okay? Now, just keep it easy, you know what I mean? Let's, like, don't make it overcomplicated. Just keep it easy in the beginning. I'm just going to put something simple, you know? Actually, before I do that, I am still on chord mode. Pick notes mode. So before you actually record this in there, put notes mode on. And then, you know, keep it the same scale. So we're in a ski ma C major scale. Notes mode. Overdub, play, start. Press overdub again. Go back to main. All right, tap this eyeball here. Turn it down. Because that is really loud. All right, so now we got our drums, we got some chords, we have a lead. Let's put a bass in there really fast and we'll call it a day. So go to browse. Let's pick any of these bases, right? Let's just pick the classic square, okay? Load that up. Once that's loaded, all right, it's gonna take a second. Do, do, do. Go back to main, go to track four, then pick that bass. Boom, there's that bass. Go to shift. Go to notes. So we need to make this lower. So stay on notes, stay in the C major scale. Just put the octave lower. So that's a bass octave. All right, so let's play it and kind of play to it. So push, play, start. And you kind of play around with it, you know, you know the root note was this and this, right? So if you play those two notes, you're going to be pretty good, but you know, you play around with it. I'm just going to record something. All right, push over to again so you don't accidentally record notes in there. And you're pretty much set up right there. All right. And that's how easy it is to just get your first sequence going and, you know, start making music. All right. Now, I explained this very simply, and I'm not trying to uh, put you down. I'm actually trying to bring you up. Um, I'm trying to explain this in, a, in simple terms because it's actually very simple to get started on the MPC-1. And I, I've noticed a lot of people have been frustrated and they've been confused, and I've already seen it in the comments. And I just want to show you like how simple it really is to do this. I wanted to break it down to a nice, simple level. So um, there you go. That's how you can get started creating a sequence in the MPC-1. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider subscribing. If you want more information, ask questions below. Just ask some questions. I'll answer it. Somebody that's watching the video will answer it. All right, I've been making NPC videos for a while, so if you're new here, uh, you know, you know, like other people aren't, so people might watch this and see your questions, and they might answer it. All right. Anyway, like I was saying as well, uh, if you ask your question and you, and I see a bunch of thumbs up on it. All right, I'll consider doing a video about it. This way, we can all get educated and 
you know, I'll know that, okay, a lot of people need to know whatever you're asking. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Consider sharing it if you found it valuable. And um, let's just keep making music, y'all. My name's Matthew. Continue to create music. And we'll talk soon.